This episode is sponsored by Copilot. I'll talk about that later in the video. I finished a book and I turned it in and the manuscript got approved and I'm very excited and very proud of myself and very, very tired. Let's talk about what happens when you push yourself 12 to 16 hours a day for weeks on end with no days off. I put a lot on hold while I finished my book, including my regular workouts. I use Copilot for those because it makes it easier for me to work out. Turns out they make it easier to go back to working out too. I was exhausted at first and then really anxious to go back to my workouts because it felt like I'd have lost all my progress I'd worked so hard to achieve. There were a lot of barriers to getting back into it, including not knowing where my workout clothes even were. I hadn't done laundry in a while and my workout area was a mess. My fitness coach kept checking in and encouraging me and I was able to be honest with her without feeling judged. She adjusted my workouts a little to ease me back into it and I finally worked up the courage. When I finally got my first regular workout in again, I was surprised to find I hadn't lost all my progress like I was afraid I had. I was actually able to use the same weights. I was pretty sore, but it was really nice to realize I wasn't starting back at square one. And she celebrated with me and sent a video letting me know what to expect. It's amazing to have this kind of practical and emotional support with my workouts, especially because I'm working out for a very important reason. Now that I'm done with the book, I'm hoping to start a family and I wanna be as healthy as possible going in. Copilot has been amazing at helping me reach my fitness goals and they really understand how to help those of us with ADHD stick to them, even when life gets hectic. If you'd like to try Copilot, click my Copilot link or use the QR code on screen to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. Back to the video. I've never written a book before. From my understanding, there was gonna be a couple weeks of intense editing. And so I intentionally allowed myself to hyper-focus. Like I, I paced myself most of the time that I was writing a book um, over the course of the year, knowing that that final push, I would be able to push hard. I would be able to get a lot done. I'd be able to like let my ADHD off leash and just go. I know that I'm capable of that. I know it's not a good idea for to do for a really long time, but I figured for a couple weeks, that's great. So I did that for a couple weeks only. Um, I wasn't done after a couple of weeks. I was pushing so hard every day and I got through a couple of weeks and then there was more to do. And so I needed an extension and I needed another extension. And then I found out I had changed so much in the editing process that I needed a second editing process. Long story short, six weeks. Six weeks of really intense pushing from the minute I could start working to the minute I, I could not work anymore. So it was, there were, there were some 16 hour days and I, do not recommend this for most reasons. It's not something our bodies are built to do long-term. As Patrick, our research consultant puts it, our bodies aren't designed to run from a bear every day, like the occasional bear, but that's essentially what we're doing. When we get that close to the finish line, there's a lot of adrenaline flowing through. There's, you know, there's passion, excitement, like you can see the finish line and you can push really hard. Our hyper-focus is absolutely an asset at that point, but I didn't know how much work there was left and I had a hard time gauging it. I had a hard time planning and prioritizing and it just seemed like, well, every chapter is important. Everything needs to be said. I, I wanna make sure that I fit everything in and that difficulty prioritizing, the better the book got, the more it was worth pushing to make the other chapters that good too. I kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and I pushed myself harder and longer than I ever have in my life. And I thought that when I was done, I would get to relax, like hang out with friends, get to all the things that I hadn't been getting to. Like I knew I'd need a little time to recharge, but I didn't know how much because it turns out, at least in my experience, um, the harder and longer you're pushing yourself for, the, the harder it's gonna be to recover. And the reason I'm doing a video about this is because I think that happens for a lot of us. We're doing something that we're passionate about. We don't have a good sense of like how much of the project is left to do like realistically and if we get estimates from other people they'll say things like oh it'll be two weeks because they don't necessarily know how we work and there was a point at which i actually asked myself like am i going to do permanent damage here am i going to break my brain because i've never pushed that hard and there was a point where I started slowing down in my speech. I started being confused about what was happening. I started not being able to do simple things. Like I could still do really good work on the project, but I couldn't do things like figure out how to put my backpack on and pick up my stuff and get into my office. Like I needed help with the most basic tasks. And what happened finally was I got to like the last couple of days where like the manuscript was done. I was totally finished with that. I was super proud of it. 
and I had a couple of days left to do the back matter. I think like a day and a half into the back matter, my brain just was like melting. My words started to not make sense. I was struggling. I was struggling. Even the quality of the work that I was doing at that point was taking a hit. At some point, yeah, my brain was just like, no, we need to be done. And I listened because I did not know what would happen if I kept going, but it was not going to be good. Like the quality of work was not going to be good at that point. And I was maybe not going to be okay for a longer period of time. And I was actually worried about doing some permanent damage. And so I ended up telling the editor, I was like, hey, I've been pulling 12 to 16 hours for weeks now with no days off, with no break. I need a day off. And it was tough doing that because it was so close to that finish line that I just, I wanted so badly to say I did it and I was done, but I had to listen to, I had to listen to my body. And so I emailed the editor um, and she was really cool about it. She's like, yeah, I have enough, take a week off. And when you come back next week, like we can, you know, we can do the last couple of things. But it it surprised me how hard it hit me. The crash that happens after a big project like that can be hard anyway, but like having poured everything that I had into this and still feeling like I failed was so rough. And it reminded me of somebody who had said in the comments um, once that like they pushed themselves so hard to finish a project and turned it in like, I don't know, a few minutes before midnight and it was due at midnight and their professor didn't accept it because they didn't turn it in on time. And she's like, but I got it in by midnight. And they were like, yeah, but like it was just right before midnight. It's rough to like push yourself that hard and then have it still not be enough. I think sometimes the crash that happens is the kind of this kind of like elated crash of like, yes, I did it. And, you know, releasing a ton of dopamine and like that felt good. Do it again. Your body's still going to need to come down from the adrenaline. But like this was the extra crash of also I felt like it got so close. I felt like I'd run this marathon that had lasted a year and a half and I was inches away from the finish line and I just couldn't. And it was devastating. It was a really wild um, experience. And I'm, again, a week and a half later, I'm still not doing great. I just wanna encourage people to be mindful that it, it is that you are overtaxing your brain. You are pushing yourself too hard. It's not for any reason other than that. It's just like, if we push ourselves that hard, our brains and bodies start to break down a little bit. And so pay attention to the signs because I don't know what would have happened if I had ignored that last sign of my body saying, you need to stop because I was stubborn, right? Like, I'm like, I have been working so hard for this. I'm gonna cross that finish line. But I knew because I had seen other people burn out and take years to recover that I didn't know if that was gonna happen to me, but I knew that that wouldn't be okay. It's not worth that. No deadline is worth that. No project is worth making it so that in the future you can't do what you wanna do. Like, it's not worth breaking your brain, frankly. But one of the things that I wanna do is a deep dive into the research on what are the risks if you're gonna crunch like that, if you're gonna hyperfocus for days, weeks, months on end, like what can go wrong with that so that we can mitigate that damage and also just be more mindful. Like for me, it, it really was worth it to put everything that I had in this book as long as I came out of it in one piece because I wanted two things from this process. I wanted a book that I was really proud of and I wanted to not die. Like I wanted to be okay at the end of it. Creating a project that we're really proud of without completely sacrificing our brains and bodies to do it can be tough, especially when all of the pressure is on get it done, do the project and we're passionate about it. It can be really hard to do the, the self care part. So I guess what I'm saying is like, I think it's unrealistic for us to not neglect our self care sometimes when we're really excited about something, really passionate about it, when it's really close to a deadline. But I, I want us as a community to be able to do that mindfully and know what the cost is and decide if it's worth it to us. Because there are a lot of situations that I've seen where that is not what somebody would have chosen um, if they had known that that was the cost. So from my experience, listening to my body, pushing myself really hard, the cost was my work started to suffer toward the end. You know, I didn't get to, to hit that deadline because I was trying to do all the things. Um, and then I needed some time to recover. I'm glad to be on the other side of it. I'm glad to know that I seem to be okay. I seem to be coming back online okay. But it was, I was definitely writing a line. So let me know what your signs are that you're you're pushing yourself too hard and that like you're gonna burn out or you're gonna need a break soon. And then we will be doing a deep dive um, and doing a, a full lecture style video, which I miss, like the really deep dive into science communication videos um, on what happens when you push yourself that hard and what are the risks if you keep doing it. I hope that made sense. 
I am, again, still not at 100%, but I am so grateful to my Patreon brains because without you, I would not have been able to spend months um, just focusing on on that project, um, finishing the book. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. And I hope you guys like it. Uh, like, subscribe, click all the things, and I will see you next video. Bye, brains. Oh, and if you want to try out Copilot, again, links in the description. Mm -hmm.